Hello everyone, I figured I'd show you something new and special. This is a boat. So I've added in uh, several kinds of facilities that you can build that aren't the standard kind and you have to get technologies to be able to build on them. I've already bought the boat technologies. Now the big research I have left to do in this particular game is computers. So what I figure I'll do is I'll go ahead and set up some computers. But the problem I have here is that I have no ability to buy manpower, meaning I can't tell people to come and work for me. And the reason for that is because I'm in the middle of, uh, what was it, the South Pacific? There's nothing nearby. So what I'm going to need to do is I need to set up a facility that will allow people to, uh, to generate, to live on the boat and generate uh, manpower. So to that, ex to that end, I have a couple of special tools. Um, here we are. So this is a standard quarters. These are simply, um, uh, looks like the boat shifted a little bit, but we'll just ignore that. These are simply beds for people to sleep on, so I'll put them in. But you'll notice pretty soon here they're going to complain that they don't have any place to store the, uh, uh, the manpower they're generating, so... Um, door, there we are. Just adding in some walls here. There we are. Having a hard time with this particular angle. I don't know why. Something wrong with the... I think everything is offset a little bit. But that's okay, I'll fix that later. So we've got a lot of these beds, but none of them are able to actually store any manpower, so we need to build something that can do that. And that would be these locker rooms here, so we'll go ahead and set up a row of these. And it looks like uh, we've got one that's full, one that's mostly full, and one that's empty. Let's go ahead and create plenty of room, like that, and uh, set up some more walls just to barricade it off. We go. Now these will fill up over time. Uh, so the next thing I need to do is I need to set up a place for my computers and we're going to go ahead and make sure that they are inside because after all we're on a ship. It would be rather bad of me to uh, make them outside. So when you're building computers there are two big concerns. One is power. And so let's put in power. There we are. And now let's go ahead and add in computers. Except, oops, that's an uh, interview station. Uh, except for you can see that I can't buy it because I don't have any electronics. In the upper left-hand corner you can see that there's no way to buy electronics. So what we actually need to do is we need to create some electronics grinders. Uh, for that we're going to need to go back into resource and lay down some wires because we need to have a lot of them. I don't want to wait around forever. And now that grinders are under here. There they are. Oh, can't afford it. Okay, well, that's that's enough. Uh, so the problem is I ran out of manpower, which is what I expected. But I've got a lot of these, and the manpower will steadily regenerate as they uh, as they execute. Uh, well, while I'm waiting for that, I might as well... Oh, I guess I don't have enough manpower to do even that much. Alright, so let's go ahead and wait for this to regenerate some. So you can see that the number of lockers is steadily increasing. But what I have to be a little bit careful of is I also have to pay all of my wages out of that same pool. So midnight just hit, and you can see that it took a little bit of, uh, of that away. But I should have enough to buy some more of these if I need to. Oh, we need more electronic storage, of course. So let's go ahead and put down some concrete, now that we've got a little bit of manpower. And... Uh, there we go. So from here it's a pretty straight shot. Uh, these will take metal and turn them into um, uh, electronics, and they're doing that at a fairly rapid rate. And you can see that the electronics are slowly piling up there. If I want to have a faster rate, I can lay down more of those. There we go. Double our rate. So 
So you can see that I have a fair amount of electronics coming in here, and that means that I'll be able to build the computers that I want to build. Uh, but you can see, they require metal, and we've run out of metal. I brought 2,000 metal with me. Uh, these all start with 2,000 metal, but you can see that they're all empty. In fact, we only have a tiny amount of materials left, too, so we're almost out of all of our research. So what we need to do is we need to exit out of this, and we need to ship ourselves some more materials. So let's go ahead and select this guy. You can see that this base has plenty of construction and metal, so let's ship all that stuff. Ship it there. And then we'll just accelerate time, because it takes a little while for the shipment to really start uh, getting places. Okay, so the shipment arrived. Let's go ahead and go back in. And you can see that we went from having no metal and 200 construction to having 1,500 metal and 1,700 construction. So that worked just fine. And if we were to look at the back of the ship, you can see that it's now loaded up. Now I can go ahead and build the computers and get that started. That's what I left this area open for. Um, but, you know, I think this video is getting a little bit long as it is, and I've got this set to a pretty big resolution, so I think it's probably pushing about 8 gigs on my machine. And that's when the sound starts to desync. So I'm going to stop here, and I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the new features I've been adding in. Um, there are a lot of features on the horizon that I think you'll enjoy. Right now, my biggest concern is um, the fact that the game is a little player unfriendly. And so in my next release, this Saturday, I'm hoping to make it uh, more player friendly. And so I hope some of you will try it and tell me whether or not you got too confused or uh, couldn't handle it.